Good morning, all you kids. It's Miss Carmen here. Thanks for joining us for worship this morning. In a few minutes, we're going to listen to some fun songs and hear a great Bible story. If your parents are around, tell them to turn up the volume and let's get started. I'm 
Hey, how is everybody today? I'm glad to have you with me right now. My name's Eddie, and I'm glad that you've taken a few minutes to just be with me to talk about some Bible. If you ever come visit me in my office, you need to know that I have all sorts of crazy stuff in my office. I have one of those nesting dolls from Russia. I have an R2-D2 robot. I have plants. I have all sorts of fun stuff. One of the things I have in my office is right here. Do you know what this is? This is an egg, and it's not just any egg. This is an ostrich egg. It's a real ostrich egg. They've drained the stuff out, kind of sealed it up so it'll stay, uh, stay firm and won't break at all. But I have this ostrich egg in my office for a very particular reason. There's a story behind it. A long time ago, about 1800, 1900 years ago, when Christians were buried, they would bury them with an ostrich egg. Well, why would they do that? Ostrich eggs are, come from birds that can't fly. They put their heads in the sand. They're just ugly birds. Well, here's what people used to think about ostriches. It's not true, but it's what they used to think. They used to think after an ostrich laid an egg uh, that they wouldn't sit on the egg, that to hatch the egg, that the ostriches would just stare at the egg until it hatched. What was really happening is that ostriches never will leave their leg. They will ne egg. They'll never go far enough where they can't keep their eye on the egg that they've laid. Here's why I think that's important for us because one of the things that we're called to do as Christians, as followers of Jesus, is to keep our eye on Jesus. There's a great scripture verse where Jesus was teaching. He was telling people what it meant to follow him. And he said this, he said, but seek first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added to you. He says, don't worry. Just keep your eyes on the kingdom of God. Keep focused. So how do we do that? How do we continue to keep our eyes on Christ? Well, here are some of the things that I think that we can do. We can read our scripture story. So maybe ask your mom or your dad every night before you go to bed just to read stories about Jesus so you can learn what Jesus did and how you can do what Jesus did. And then maybe most importantly, every day, pray. Thank God for all the things that have gone right and if things have gone wrong or if something hasn't gone the way you wanted it to, just tell God, God, this, this is what I need to pray for today. But continue to keep your eyes on Christ. Continue to seek after Christ. Because when we seek first the things of the kingdom of Jesus, then God will give us the things that we need.
was so much fun. Thanks for worshiping with us today. Make sure to join us again next week where we'll have more from OU Kids.